Hello, this is Chris from Chris's Granite Paradise. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time viewing, we appreciate you stopping by and we hope you enjoy this and our other videos and that you would consider coming by for a visit if you're ever in northern Colorado. We love visitors here at Chris's Granite Paradise. This video is the first in a series I intend on doing on the natural rocks that are on display on the various sculptures. Today we're going to be talking about banded iron formation, otherwise known as BIF, the abbreviation, B-I-F. Um, as far as geology goes, this is allegedly one of the oldest stones exposed on the surface of the earth. Uh, I won't go into too much detail. Online there is a wealth of information, a lot of videos on YouTube, in fact, explaining the geology and the <clears throat> different places where you can go find it, uh, things of that nature. Uh, some of these are quite large. All Everything I have is from what, um, central, central southern Wyoming, uh, along the North Platte River at various locations. And I like bigger stuff because really small stuff tends to get lost in the gravel or and so forth, you know. So... I want to go through these one by one. They really display some amazing um, geological forces. Um, in the smaller pieces, it's not so evident just because they're small, but if you can get a hold of larger pieces, uh, the swirling, the folding, the wrinkling, the faulting, all those things become more evident. So I'm going to start just one by one. Um, kind of explaining what I see in them. Um, <clears throat> what's most evident on this, as well as most of these here in the this side of, this, of the display here, is the folding. These are probably the first thing you'll notice if you go out and collect is they're heavy, first of all. They're anywhere from, I think the minimum is like 15% iron all the way up to almost 100%. The Basically, the blacker and darker they are, the more iron content they have. But this one is one of my better ones, as far as what I consider good is a piece that's uh, nice and smooth, relatively free of cracks. And uh, wet gives it a whole different effect. Yeah, that's one of my favorites there. Here's another example that shows the folding. Dip it in the bucket for you. It's kind of hard to find them the way this piece is where it's broken through the layers as opposed to along the layers. Usually they tend to be elongated broken along the layers and they end up basically looking like petrified wood especially if the layers aren't folded like they are in these samples this one it's another one of those that's almost pure iron so it's very heavy um, but it's a little harder to see the layers they really show up when they're wet I'm hoping you can appreciate that in the video it's really really folded like like, uh, what would you call that? Like the letter Z, but multiple times. Uh, one thing I've noticed in rock videos, and I'm trying to be aware of it, is people move too fast, and the viewer gets dizzy. So, please put in the comments if I'm going too fast. <laughs> I'm trying to turn it slowly. This is a larger one. Again, you can see all the... It's very folded. Let me wet it. You always want to have a bucket of water handy. Thing is heavy. This is one of the ones I'm talking about that they tend to look like petrified wood in the sense that the grain mostly goes one way. But on this one, if you look at the end, 
you see the perfect letter Z. It, it, it's just folded really nice. Hope you can appreciate that in the video. Same thing on the other end. This is one of my favorites. This is one of those that's just pure iron. Uh, they basically grade from pure orange where they're almost all jasper with a little bit of iron all the way to pure iron and everything in between. But this one, you can really see not only folding but faulting. There's several places where the layers have slipped against each other. And you can see like somebody cut the rock and glued it back together but they didn't glue it quite right. You know, if you follow any given layer, it stops and then starts again a little further up. Really a cool piece. And then if you get it wet, it's a whole different look. Not sure how close I can get. I'm using my cell phone, so I'm not expecting too much. <laughs> then sometimes you get them where they're uh, not layered at all. They, they kind of got broken up, maybe in a fault zone or an earthquake at some point, And they're just chunks glued back together. I say glued, obviously. I don't mean by people. <laughs> God did this. God glued them together. I guess we could say it like that. Um, probably several miles deep underground. Extreme metamorphism. This is another one of my favorites. Very tight folding. I guess I got it partly wet, so I might as well wet it all the way. But just look how crinkled that is. Just imagine miles thick of this. Uh, they say that when the oceans ox became oxygenated and all the iron rusted out, it was a very heavy deposit. I mean, I don't know if it was miles thick, but lots and lots of it. Most of the world's iron mines are actually mining this material. That's where the most iron is found. But this is, this is a nice example of just how crinkled they can be. Like a Ruffles potato chip. <laughs> and then this one I put as an example showing more towards the Jasper end of things. It's very little iron. It's a lot lighter. Just kind of feels like a regular rock. But it's got little bits of it in there. Get it wet so you can see. So you can see, obviously, this is just a little little bits of iron. And what's interesting about this one is that you can see the layering is there in the center, but there's just massive jasper on the on the right and on the left as we're looking at it. So it's like there was a hole in the jasper and it filled in with the stuff in layers. Very cool piece. Another one showing the folding. Ah, uh, maybe I showed you this one already. I think, no, I don't think I did. This, I think, is the, the type that most people look for. I did not know until uh, yesterday. I went on YouTube and I was, and, and on Google, and I was researching this stuff, and I, a lot of people are really into this. And I can see why. It is a beautiful stone. But this is a, about 50-50, jasper to iron, and it just makes a really nice appearance. So far, everything I've been showing you is river washed. It's been in the river, because like I said, these are all collected along the, I believe it's the North Platte River. Probably about 10 different locations up and down the river. This is one of my favorites. This one, I want to point out... The way the folding goes, if it breaks along the layers, you get this effect. You get this uh, 
kind of like corrugated metal look. And yet if you turn it on its end, you'll see that those corrugations just follow the layering. Let me get this wet, it'll show up a little more. Again, see how close I can get away with. I won't know until I get inside and I watch the video. <laughs> Again, there's that's the surface. So if you could imagine that at one point was the surface, or it could be upside down. I, you know, I don't I don't know that. There's no way to tell. But that was along the surface, and then the stuff got buried and basically turned to plastic under heat and pressure. This is one of the more colorful ones I have, I think. Very pretty piece. Well, we don't want to bang them together too much. Try not to do that. This one is similar. And again, this one is one of the ones that's pure iron. This thing is so heavy, it's so cool. But again, you see that where along the surface, you get that corrugated look. So when you find them like this, it's because that's following the layers. Then if you turn it and look at it from the side, you can see this, in this one, the layers are very straight in one direction. Then you turn it on the end and they're not folded very much. It's a light, light folding. This is one of the more plain ones in, in that sense. It's not swirly or the letter Z or anything like that. What's neat about this one is a nice rectangular chunk and it's just pure iron. <laughs> Another interesting one. This one had a fault going through it that filled in. Probably should have showed you when it was dry because it glitters a lot more, but it filled in with crystalline magnetite as opposed to the micro crystalline that you see in the layers. And it's softer, and so it's eroding out. Here you can see it's still filled with what we call caliche, which is basically the the gravel gets buried and then calcium carbonate kind of grows around it and then when it gets on the surface again that dissolves in the rain and cleans off now i want to show you guys when it's not in the river when it's in and, and of course like i said the stuff is from wyoming and in wyoming it is extremely windy so you'll find them that look like this this is the same exact stuff but that's been sitting on the hill probably for tens of thousands, if not longer, of years. And it's what we call a ventifact. So you can see the rock laid on the ground. This side was in the ground and it's still razor sharp, broken. You know, like if you just had a piece of broken rock and laid it on the ground. And then it sat there for a long enough time. And the wind blew over it. It's all just what we call fluted. So you get that etching from the wind. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. You can see it reflecting there. That's just from grains of sand and wind at about 80 miles an hour most of the winter. The wind just howls up there. Yeah, this is one this is one of my favorite. I actually bought this one at a rock show. And it's like, I have tons of it at home, but I didn't have a good Venefact. And this is a really nice Venefact. Of course, the guy wouldn't tell me exactly where it was from. He just said Wyoming, so that's close enough for me. <laughs> but it's polished. I mean, it's, it's really nice. And I have other Venefacts from that area that look just like this. They're just other materials. So I have no doubt that that's what it is. Here's another Venefact. That one's a little too big to pick up. You get the idea. And I also have... These are all on display here. You can see on these shelves I have quite a lot of it. And I pulled some of the bigger, some of the more interesting ones out. That's why you see some gaps there in the sculpture. And they're laying on the ground over here. So this... This one isn't really folded very much. It's just big. Let's see my hand to give you a reference. 
big and perfectly smooth and no cracks. It's it's one of my another one of my favorites. Just some other big ones. These two here are from uh, the river, so they're smooth. And then these two are. This one's actually pretty rough. It's like not really wind polished yet. And the same thing with that one. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed. Please leave your comments and any suggestions. Uh, any maybe other kinds of rocks that you would like to see. Because I have a lot of rocks here. So I plan on doing this. Thank you for joining. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you.